Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how you can use MongoDB Compass to export data, to import data, how you can query data and how you can use aggregation and in the end how you can create MongoDB views. So first off uh, I'm going to tell you how you can export data. So this is my database Walking King and this is the collection uh, account cancellation and it has four documents I want to export that so how I can do it click on collection then click on export collection uh, okay then I want to export the full collection then there I can specify the fields which uh, should be included in the export uh, like I uncheck that so underscore V should not be included in it but for the tutorial sake I include all the fields then I select the type either it should be JSON or either it can be CSV JSON is good okay then I write the name of the file test file and specify its directory and then click on export it is exported okay then uh, I need to import and how uh, the file is saved now it is in my computer now if I need to import it how I can do how how it is possible like it is very easy click on create collection uh, I'm creating a dummy collection okay now okay test collection already exists test collection 2 okay there you go you can import that in an existing uh, collection as well there's no need to create a new collection I'm doing it just for the sake of the tutorial there I will select the file the test file okay and there you can see all the data is imported you can export that you can import that easy now next on I'm going to show you how you can query data okay so I go into the users collection because it has like a lot of data in it so I can play with it so I need to uh, view all the data uh, of users whose state is verified okay so I'm going to write state and then verified okay now it will show me all the users whose state is verified okay and then I need to show all the users data whose state is unverified it is telling me that, that there are like four users whose state is unverified and uh, there are 32 users with verified state now I can also uh, do other operators as well like I want to limit the results to top 10 then I can add limit to 10 then it will only uh, give me like the top 10 results and then I can also uh, use the projection operator like I, I uh, I only need like the distance variable the name variable and the date and time variable okay I don't need to view all the variables so how you can do that and I only need these variables okay so let's see there you go now it shows me uh, only the variables I have specified I can also sor sort them uh, how you can do that okay minus one mean in descending order now the biggest date uh, will be on top then uh, the rest follows if I do it plus one then uh, what will happen is like the smallest date then the biggest uh, dates this is how it goes so now I'm going to show you how the aggregation works so open up any uh, database collection the mongodb collection then click on aggregation and in this tab we have like multiple options click on this these are the stages of the aggregation and aggregation uh, pipeline can have multiple stages and now I choose lookup now I am in the users collection I from uh, I want to link users collection with users goal collection okay user goal 
okay user goals this is the collection right the local field is underscore id this one and in the users gold collection the foreign field is user underscore id i can show you that as well and the users gold field as you can see this is the user underscore id it is linked with the users schema okay uh, so i'm linking them just like uh, how you do the join equi join or left join or right join in the uh, sql the foreign field is user as user goal data okay now you can see this all the users uh, data with their users goal now you can see all the users with their with their user goals that are linked with them so this is how it is and then now i can also add multiple other operations on it like i need only data of the users whose state is unverified like how i can do that i can use the match operator i can write state state uh, should be unverified okay now i will only see the data uh, of users whose state is unverified plus this uh, user goal data so i can uh, add another stage like i can add i can limit the fields using the project i only need name i need email i need state uh, user goal data okay so and there underscore time so i only need these variables so there you go and now if i want to save that uh, query i can save this as like save this pipeline like test pipeline okay and if uh, i can now access that like this is the test pipeline i can open that uh, and if I need to save this result and uh, and I need it uh, later on in my project like I need uh, users and I need the users uh, other some uh, and users uh, linked uh, data with some other collection like there's some other data in other collections then I don't want like I need to query every time for that data so what I can do is I can create a pipeline get that data and then create a view so and then how you can create a view like this is the most interesting part like creating a view like click on create view and give this a name like test view okay now what will happen is this is basically a view you cannot edit it but the good thing about it is like you don't have to query the user goal and and run a very big aggregation uh, all the time so it won't affect the uh, backend server as well so all the res desired result you need in uh, the form uh, you have specified previously in the aggregation pipeline is stored in the view and you can uh, easily do do a find query and get all these results so this is the view like you cannot edit it but this is how it is created thank you so much